In this video tutorial, I will show you how to make such crochet beautiful flower with beads. For this flower, I used long beads and seed beads. Let's take a look at the back side of the flower. And it is front. This flower can be the base to create earring, an embellishment and other accessories. For work you need a ball of yarn, two sizes of crochet hook, seed beads, six long beads and one round bead. Before the work with red seed beads, onto the working yarn. The seed beads are transparent, large and not outright, inside stain it with silver. Begin the work by making a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five and six. And join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. We got a ring. And now begin the round one. For this chain two to bring up the yarn. Draw seed beads. I remind you that the before the work we threaded seed beads onto the working yarn. Make 12 half double crochet with seed beads. Yarn over the hook with seed bead. Insert the hook into the ring, pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook by making half double crochet with bead. It was the first one. Make the second one. Draw bead, yarn over the hook and make half double crochet into the ring. Two, three, four, five, and so on. Keep working in this way till you will have 12 beaded half double crochet. Once we have done 12 beaded half double crochet and complete this round, we skip two chain stitches on the beginning of this round and insert the hook into the first beaded half double crochet and make a slip stitch. Round one is done. Begin the second round. It will be a round of petals. Pull up the working loop and change to the thinner hook. Take a long bead, put it on the hook, take the working loop, pull it through. Change the hook back. If your hole of the bead is big enough, you can't change the hook. Make a chain. Then yarn over the hook two times to work with treble crochet. One, two. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops three times one, two, and three. Then make five single crochet into the treble crochet stitch. Turn the work and make five single crochet. One, two, three, 
four and five well done turn the work to the back side draw seed beads on the working yarn and make chain with seed bead insert the hook into the first stitch and make single crochet with seed bead in this first stitch continue the work make the second single crochet into the next stitch with seed bead Make the third one into the next stitch, the fourth with seed bead, and the fifth one. With seed bead, we are working by the back side of the work. All seed beads are at the front side. And now insert the hook into the top of the treble crochet. Here it is. And make single crochet with seed bead into this top of the treble crochet. Draw seed beads. I need a seed bead. Insert the hook into the chain stitch with long bead and make beaded single crochet. Let's take a look at the front side. Then I turn the petal like this. And we are finishing this petal for this four chains one, two, three, and four. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Here, as you can see, we made treble into this stitch, and I insert the hook into the next stitch by making a slip stitch the first petal is made as you can see this beaded petal is easy to crochet begin the next petal and I change the hook again I take a thinner hook I pull at the working loop. Now take a long bead, put it on the hook, take the working loop, pull it through, let's repeat. Chain the hook back and make a chain with this long bead. Continue, yarn over twice to work with treble crochet, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops three times, one, two and three. And you should continue in this way, it means as we did in the tutorial. After treble crochet you need to make 5 single crochet and so on. In total it should be 6 petals. Once we have done the last petal and let's complete round of petals together. We made 4 chains in the last petal and to complete this round insert the hook into the half double crochet. 
We have already made a slip stitch of the previous round in this half double crochet and make slip stitch again into this half double crochet. The round of the petals is made and we can cut off the yarn. The flowers is done. I leave a little bit longer yarn to sew the bead to the center of the flower. This flower consists of two rounds. Round of beaded half double crochet and round of the petals. I add a bead to the center. This white beaded flower is easy to crochet. Let's look at the back side of the flower. And this is front. In the same technique I made a cord to combine them together in my project. You can see it in crochet cord tutorial 153. I remind you this flower can be the base to create earring, an embellishment and other accessories. Or you can use it in Irish and Gipur laces. Thanks for watching. We are pleased to inform you that we have opened membership service on our website. Membership includes an access to the video tutorials which are published every week. Only at sharonitin.com and only for members. For more detailed information, please visit the membership page at sharonitin.com. Thanks for watching.